This is gonna be the first time that I fully paid attention to the Olympics for basketball. Um, I know, you know, America's always been NBA, blah, 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 but like Steph Curry's my guy and seeing him on the Olympic team uh, has been exciting, especially when I see that he's gonna be playing with LeBron and AD. And it's like, that, that blows my mind. Uh, I'm not saying that the Warriors haven't had good teams over the years, but that you got a playmaker in LeBron, creator, and then you got Steph with all the gravity that he pulls and all the, the attention he pulls. Like, it's, something's got to give. You either got to go to the gravity and then LeBron's making plays for everybody else with four on threes, or you got to sink in and then you give Curry the three-point line when he can shoot from the other side of half court. Uh, and don't forget KD. KD's playing. Like, I know they got Joel Embiid. They got uh, Ant. You got Anthony Edwards. Like, you, dude, there's so many great players that are going to be playing in this. And, yes, with all that has happened, you know, with Clay moving on, um, and, and I don't, don't blame him. I'm not mad at him. But I'm sure this is good for Curry to be able to get his mind off of it and have something to focus on. Uh, that's going to be really good. It's good for Warriors fans, too, because I feel like Steph's going to get a break from the – the Warriors side of basketball, especially, you know, like I said, with it, with all this going down, um, the Olympics, as you remember a few years ago, uh, they got laughed at because, uh, they were playing a bunch of the second tier and third tier players in the NBA and they ended up getting beat. Now uh, you had all these other countries that were dogging America saying like, you know, you guys don't, this isn't the best in the world, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe the NBA is getting beat by the people. And so, it pissed LeBron off. LeBron started his recruiting, and he recruited what is going to be one of the great, greatest uh, Olympic teams of all time. And I know you've had the dream team. The first team's always the best. You know, the first thing's always the best, the hype. Michael Jordan's the best. LeBron, oh, you never come close, you know. Or uh, the dream team, oh, they were great. You know, the redeemed team has nothing on them. So it's like I'm not even fighting for that. I'm just going to enjoy uh, this year's Olympics. I'm going to enjoy watching Steph ball out. I'm going to enjoy watching him play with LeBron, A.D., uh, like I said, Anthony Edwards um, playing with KD. Like, it, it is going to be a sick squad to watch. To watch Joel Embiid, who already demands so much. I'm uh, just very curious to see, are they going to win by 10 points every game? Are they going to win by 50? Uh, or are they going to try to make a statement? And by a statement, I mean, yes, blow everybody out. And even in the championship game, just turn it up. Just literally try to destroy everybody. I would love to see that. I, I would love to see. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see it. Um, but that's, that's kind of that's kinda it. Just uh, really excited for this. I know Curry and LeBron are up in age. I know KD's up in age. And so to see a lot of these older guys who are going to be get, going against other teams' prime uh, players and their best players, it's going to be fun. I saw where Luka, uh, his team got put out by Giannis. Um, Giannis is trying to carry his team back. And I'm sure is it – Dennis, I don't know how you say his brother's name, but apparently the brother's not the greatest player in the world, but he's him and Giannis are really close. But um, be cool to see that game. Be cool to see them versus America. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I just want to see the U.S. play. I think it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be exciting basketball. But shout out to Curry, and I hope that you have a healthy but really exciting Olympic run.